It's That Internet Show. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to That Internet Show. Today we have someone, he and I go way back on Instagram, uh, but we first met in person about 10 minutes ago. Sending Stash, please help me welcome Sending Stash. Come on in, bro. Uh, you brought your Slurpee? I did. Pina yeah. Colada. Pina Colada. It's the only way to go with Slurpee. Yeah? Wild Cherry. You, do you do like a mix? You do like a little coconut and a little... I used to mix, but now I just want maximum enjoyment for the flavor. <laughs> I'll go back for seconds if I need a different Okay, uh, obviously uh, your birth certificate doesn't say sending stash. I love your uh, your kind of icon, your, uh, your profile uh, yeah. photo, yeah. holding out the phone. Yeah. And sending is a climbing term, which like, to summarize means like, to finish or get it done. Okay. So, yeah. And then stash just because I, I got a little bit of a mustache. Yeah. Uh, was this a was this the, the mustache? Was this kind of a conveniently timed with the hipster facial hair movement? Or I, were you were you always a stash guy? I feel like I was like six months before the hipsters okay. embraced the mustache. Just on the front edge. Yeah. I actually just submitted paperwork to like DMV and the banks and stuff. I bought some land in England. Yeah. And um, it came with the title of Lord, so I'm officially a Lord. Whoa, 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 wait. This is amazing. I love this. This is what happens when you've never met someone. You get some amazing information. <laughs> a square foot of land. And so it comes it, with the title Lord? It came with the title Lord. It's land in like North England in the okay. Lake District. Here we go. So I am Lord of Wansley Manor. The, Lord of Wansley Manor. Exactly. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. It was a big moment for me. I was eating sushi. Yeah. The, the sushi was put on hold temporarily. Yeah. And my friends and I did some research, and like 15 minutes later, we, we bought lordship titles. Okay, if you don't mind me asking, how much? A square foot, it ran me like 60 bucks. This is like, this is blowing my mind. So you and your wife, yeah. you'll be lord and lady by the end of today. I have a coat of arms. What? Eh. Dude, I definitely know what I'm doing after this. Uh, but your real name? Quran. Yes, and ba Bahati? Bhatia. Bhatia. Yeah. So I I found you, I don't even know how, just one day all of a sudden you're on my feed and uh, you have like 16,000 followers on Instagram. A lot of the photos are taken from precariously high places and secondly, they, they have not just like a caption or a word like elevate, but it's like, <laughs> today while drinking a coffee, I decided that I would, and it's more like a journal, but yeah, I, I liked the idea that I can write and can provide additional content in addition to the photograph and it's something else for people to explore if they choose to. I, I want to get into a little bit about how you came into photography because I think that also informs why your photos are from the top of a 900 story building or whatever. Yeah. I went through uh, like substance abuse and addiction and after getting clean Climbing, rock climbing played a large role in me getting huh. clean. I discovered it when I was in England. Kind of an outlet, and, really? Yeah, it was something that kind of gave me an adrenaline rush and was something fun to do. And uh, I like the height aspect of it. Yeah. I get like altitude sickness on the ground. I, I like to be really? high up. Just, like, so so it's there. like the opposite of altitude sickness. Yeah, it's it's sea level sickness. Up. So I, I just started climbing things. And then I told myself that every year on my, my sobriety date, I would try to like pursue a new hobby and pick something up. Yeah. Um, just as a way to like remind myself that I got clean and got a second chance and it's an opportunity to, to keep learning and keep growing. So December 10th, which is my clean date in um, 20, what was it, 12? Okay. Yeah, 2012. I just went on Amazon and bought a camera. What was the camera that you bought? I bought a Nikon D5100. Um, came with like a kit lens. Okay, yeah. And then I like quickly realized it's like Lightroom and my computer wasn't capable of editing. Yeah, yeah. So It's uh, a rabbit hole. It is. Right, you're like, I buy that camera, now that's limited everything else. Okay, yeah. well I need a new lens. Oh, I need a new computer to process the, exactly. right, all that stuff. And it sucked me in though. Figured I'd give it like an honest shot, so I started reading more, researching more, and it just turned out to be something that I was interested in. Yeah. So I started like, devouring as much content as I could, and basically learned from like, YouTube. And, and with enough YouTube videos and time on your hands, yeah. you could learn anything. I agree. And um, now I'm on my second camera. Hopefully I can hold on to it. But yeah. It's always like I want the next The one. next. What's the, the next? next? What's the next, right? Yeah. Now, you have this interesting uh, kind of rebellious nature in, in the way that you take photos. Like a lot of times you kind of talk about how you like slipped past the guards and like yeah. crept to the roof. 
Have you ever been chased by cops? You don't have to say though. anything that will indict you, by the way. All right. Uh, yeah. I like the idea of going and like spending sometimes weeks in the learning security guard schedules and learning how to get into an elevator. No way. Um, you uh, full on case the joint. Yeah, for some of the buildings, I, I just put like two or three weeks of effort into figuring out how to get what? up them. Some like 35 or 40 story apartment building that's under construction. Okay. Uh, luxury apartments. Yeah. Uh, no elevators yet, so we climbed up like 40 flights of stairs Dang, after getting that's past That's commitment. It was like glutes on fire. These <laughs> glutes are on fire! <laughs> That's my Alicia Keys impersonation. I liked it. Thank you. We see the like, the big light come in attached to a helicopter yeah. from quite a ways away. And we climbed an apartment building that was connected to and neighboring this building to get into the parking structure to get up this because they had security on okay. the ground level. And security must have realized we got up and they just didn't want to climb 40 yeah. flights after us. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. So helicopter came, then second helicopter came, then we made our way down and uh, like six or seven patrol cars on the ground, but we we somehow managed to get like to an IHOP without getting caught. What? Just celebrated with pancakes, uh, freedom. <laughs> celebrated your freedom with pancakes. Yeah. Is that is that part of the thrill? Is kind of the, the potential for the danger, like we're hanging off of the side of this building, or is it that you just are so passionate about kind of aerial photography that it doesn't matter yeah. what's in your way? I, I think it's less the, the thrill of getting caught and okay. more the idea of like, unique vantage points yep. and providing people with an angle and a perspective of, yep. of LA and a city I love um, from a spot that they've never seen before. I've got a lot of the buildings in downtown that I can get. Yeah. I, there's not many skyscrapers in downtown, so I just started renting helicopters myself okay. to shoot from. Wow. I just ran out of buildings. Yeah. There's not many left to climb. And it's legal now. And it's legal, yeah. Boring, snooze <laughs> alert. <laughs> kind of what or who, uh, whether it's a person, a place, or a thing, so a noun, I guess, uh, inspires you? Ansel Adams is a big inspiration. Okay. I, I've always been a fan of his work, even since before picking up a camera. Okay. And for numerous reasons, like beyond his photography, he was a, a big fan of Yosemite, which to me is the greatest place on this planet. Yeah. I, I, he was he took photography to a new level through his editing process, and mm -hmm. I love that he was able to do things in a dark room that just weren't being done at the time. Yeah, so much super attention. innovative. Yeah, the, the detail he put into the printing process, he just took it beyond the camera. We could talk for three hours easily, <laughs> um, but I have a challenge today. Challenge. So this is what I like to call rapper or Instagrammer. Big Chief Buffalo. Ooh, Instagrammer. Pudgy the Fat Bastard. That's got to be a rapper. Okay. <laughs> I hope it is. I really hope I'm right with that one. Journalist 103. That sounds like an Instagrammer. The Cron Goddess. I, whether that's an Instagrammer or a rapper, that's spot on, and I need to meet the Cron Goddess. You need to meet Cron Goddess. I'm going to say rapper, though. Okay. Trademark to Skydiver. Instagrammer. Big up top VIP. Oh, rapper all day. Nice. El Tigre Biatch. <laughs> rapper. Blaze your dead homie. That, that's an interesting Instagrammer. Okay. You did horribly. Uh, you started off strong and then you completely screwed it up. Clearly, I'm a failure. Clearly, at a Instagram failure. And rapping. Yeah. Um, definitely follow our Lord here, uh, sending stash. He's already got 16k following him, so you know if you're lucky, he may approve you. Uh, we'll see. But his his photos are phenomenal. Obviously, a super cool guy. Um, follow us, that net show. Um, we'll see you next time. We're gonna have on Parker Eretz. Wait. All right, peace, guys. Thanks again, man.